want to go down because <laughs> I'm quite certain she could kick your butt. No, definitely. <laughs> uh, we're going to head out to Brad who's at Dunkin' Donuts. Brad, my hey, friend, oh, my good eating, friend Brad. Yes. Oh, man, if you could send over some glazed. Oh, now we're talking. Couple you know dozen, we're Brad. Over on, uh, we're on Stapley and Baseline, so I think by the oh, time the donuts get there, okay. they'll be gone. But we're taking a new look Dunkin' Zone's doing, so they're going to be opening up a new look here. We're going to find new coffees, new things they're doing and having some fun out here this morning. So we're going to be sprinkling all kinds of things, and we're going to find out what the pink chair is about, as I saw in my notes. So we'll be coming back with more in just a little bit from uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Eat him and eat him with your barbecue. Honey glazed or filled with jelly it gives life meaning as it fills your belly. But be careful, cause I swear that it'll give you a bold right in your middle. Although I will say some Dunkin' Donuts come pretty close, Brad. Yeah. Oh no, what's wrong? Did you not get well, your glazed? No, Did you not get your you munchkins? Know. That's the problem I have. Coming out to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Are you trying morning. to lose weight again, Brad? Of course, but that's not the problem I'm having this morning. Uh oh. Uh, what I'm a can upset. I do? What's I'm wrong? Upset here. Well, one thing they don't open until Friday. Big grand opening, seven across the valley. But my biggest problem is, is that they've been putting the final touches on this one right here at Stapley and Baseline, and Bird doesn't have the chocolate machine in, the hot cocoa machine yet. The best hot cocoa in the world is Dunkin' Donuts hot cocoa. And it's not here yet because you guys have decided to do a whole new remake. And the one thing, all I wanted, that's all I wanted, Bird, is hot chocolate. You got the fantastic crew working. You got the awesome manager, Joe. You got the new look, but not the hot cocoa yet that will be in by Friday, right? We'll give you counseling for that and free coffee. I like that. Actually, I'm not the only one to get free coffee. This Friday, grand opening. Actually, this is kind of cool. Dunkin' Donuts took on a whole new look. We have a whole new uh, remade look that we're introducing Friday morning, 5 a.m. We're giving away free coffee for a week to every uh, guest that comes in, free medium coffee. So we hope to see everybody here at any of our seven locations this Friday. I like that. And you can log on to the website, which is www. Uh, DunkinDonuts.com will give you the locations that'll that'll direct you to the locations that we're opening. I like that. And we're going to be having some fun when we come back. We're going to talk about coffee. I'm actually, me working for the Gap Corporation for all the years, I'm going to help train these new employees here. We're going to be going through some, of course, the six steps of service. Uh, greet, greet the guests. Hello. Morning. There you go. Take the order suggestion. Order suggestion. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa, the best hot cocoa in the world. So, no, we're going to come back there. We're going to have some fun with them. And I'm going to show them how sprinkling's really done. Because, you know, I get up every morning and make donuts. That's what I do. I make the donuts it's for Dunkin' Donuts. There you go. All right, when you say sprinkling, uh, you go overboard with your sprinkles, don't you? You know, look at this. This right here, this is sprinkling here. This is a nice sprinkled donut here. But I'm going to show you nice the red Perry sprinkling. Yes, nice right. and even. I have mine, a feeling you like go this. overboard. Not overboard so much, <laughs> but it's Dunkin' Donuts. You can never go overboard yeah, with, I'm not you know, sprinkling. All right, no, thanks, not Brad. All. All Thank right. you. Come Good morning, Arizona. Brett Perry here at Dunkin' Donuts, where the real operation goes on back here as we are making sprinkles on the donuts. Courtney, who is the uh, regional trainer here, come on in here. All right, Chelsea, you hold the microphone. Okay. All right, so you got to make sure. No, come over this way. Yeah, this way. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so Courtney, the major thing in here at Dunkin' Donuts is that is the sprinkles, right? Yes. 
Yes, most definitely. We love the sprinkled donuts. It's a favorite. I like that. Now, for those who are just watching out, we're at Stapley and Baseline. Not open yet. They open up this Friday, seven locations. They're actually also giving away coffee. So here we go. Let's make the donuts really quick here. Okay. Let's make donuts. All right. So we have our yeast shell. The yeast shell, yep. We're going to stir up our chocolate. Stir up the chocolate. We're going to get a good amount right get on the top Get them out right there. there. Just get it on there. Get a good Is lot. that how it works? People like lots of chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Oh, that looks good yum. to me. Okay, now right. you're going to take it. And then take it and go bump. Just drop it in there. You got to have the sound effect. Bop. And there you go. Bop. You have a and beautiful look, sprinkled donut. Look at that. That looks, that's okay. Yours is a little squish, but that's okay. All right. And we'll have to come back and work on we'll that. We'll do some more training we'll on that We'll do some more one. training. And then when we also come back, we're going to have some new drinks they're doing, some more fun we're having. So we're making the donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. So let me get some more going here. So. Good amount of chocolate. And we'll be back with more Good Morning Arizona coming up in just a little bit. Information's on our hotline. Dunkin' Donuts. They're going to be opening up this Friday. Seven locations around the valley. We got to talk. You know what? I remember Dunkin' Donuts is just having like one donut. Now they have all kinds. They have bagels. They have breakfast sandwiches. And they have the different drinks now, which is kind of cool. Even though it's kind of hot out, people still love their coffee. But you have cool drinks too, Courtney. Have cool drinks. This is our iced caramel swirl latte. Mm, Very good. I like that. Topped with whipped cream. Okay, we're going to take it out. Let's top it. Top Let's the top cream. it right Let's top it right. with the cream. Let's go with it. So, right here. Top it. Woo! All right. Then what do we got? Oh, look at that. Put the caramel on there. Oh, I like that. Then what do we have? We also have our iced tea. Delicious iced tea for the hot weather here in Arizona. Love it. Keeps then we cool. have? Coffee culotta. A delicious slushy drink. Say that again. Coffee culotta. Coffee culotta. 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 Then we have a strawberry culotta. Strawberry culotta. Culotta. And then we have our famous coffee. That will be served free on Friday at the different seven locations. You go on to Dump Dunkin' Donuts website to find out where they are in the valley, which is kind of cool. They've redone them all, which is really fun. You come in and see the new look. It's great. And uh, by they said by the next couple of years, you're going to have like over 100 in the valley. Yes, sir. I we will. are. I like that. And then I got to show this off. Is this, Tara, are you there? Look at this machine here. You know they're, they're stepping up their coffee Ooh. with this machine right here. This is a cappuccino machine here, um, and it does regular and decaf. And they make sure they have the quality coffee. I just want to say 13.5. That's Really? Beautiful. For that? That is beautiful, yes. That is an expensive that, but that's piece what of machinery. It is. But they don't have the hot cocoa machine <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I know. But, we're, uh, we're just tossing it out there. We don't want to start But also, Tara, also, I'm letting them know because, you know, I'm showing them some of my retail experience after working at The Gap for over uh, 10 years. And I'm just letting <laughs> them know that you make people in the morning. This is what makes you are the first thing people see in the morning next to Good Morning Arizona. That starts at 430 for those who are just up, by the way, and goes until 9. And, you know, you can check us out here. Seeing these faces right here, getting people going. These are the smiling faces of Dunkin' Donut. And we're proud of them. Hey, Brad. <clears throat> yeah. Ten years at the Gap. How high up did you work up the chain there at the Gap? Um, say it again. Uh, you were there for ten years at the Gap. Yes. How high up yes. did you did you get? I worked up to actually being uh, manager of the night shift. <laughs> uh, I was assistant manager at the Baby Gap. And you know what? Manager and of the and Baby I Gap. There, I, I would have been there higher. I, I tell you right now, I'd be running the company, but TV Probably. called, and right. I said, you know what? You got your priorities. Got my priorities, but I'll say right now. I can see what's. If I had a cop, the hot cocoa machine in here, Bert. Thanks, Brad. All right. Uh, Seven thirty-one. Perry, who is uh, making donuts this morning? This is a little yeah. healthier, probably. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but you know, actually, you no. Know, donuts are healthy. We were doing a little tribute, and uh, kind of cool. 
Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, 1950, they opened their doors up in Quincy, Massachusetts. Now they are in how many states here, Sammy Burt? Uh, 35% of all the states. 35% of all the states, but this Friday, seven will be open up. What's really cool, though, is that they're going to be traveling all over the country in one of these uh, little mini cars. I said if I can come along, and they're like, if you know how to you know, serve coffee out of the back of this big thing back here, which is going to be kind of fun. But I'll tell you, this is awesome as we've been talking. Dunkin' Donuts shut down the doors of, like, pretty much all of around the valley here, but then you guys took them over and did what? Uh, we closed them all down to basically do a complete makeover. So it's a completely new store, stem to stern, and uh, Duncan just wanted to create the excellence to deliver the perfect product that uh, that we're gonna be delivering on Friday. I like that, and of course, you're gonna be seeing these guys cruising around there, doing some handouts, passing out some little samples and stuff you can check out. And they have their iced coffee and their regular coffee you can get free on Friday when they open up. But I've been having fun training the kids in there and have sprinkles with me and then a cup of joe over there just hanging with us and having a good time. So we're going to be cruising around these later on today. And uh, um, I don't know, how much coffee do you think this thing holds? I have no clue. But a bunch. A bunch? A bunch. bunch, a bunch. Of coffee? A should, bunch. Should be good. So and then they will have the hot cocoa machine in, uh, which uh, I was hoping for and everything. But we're having a good time. So my next assignment will be testing the donuts. And actually, I was hoping, uh, Mike, let me make sure because he said he might come over, but it is, hold on, because he said he's a professional donut tester um, in the Valley, and it's Mike Lane, who turns 40 today. He is a Tempe cop, um, and he said that he is official, uh, he knows all the donuts and how they taste and everything, and not because he's a police officer, just because Mike Lane and Tim Coggins um, know all the donut shops around town when, they're, when he's off duty, so... Um, we're going to be hanging out here. Remember, we're over on Stapley and uh, Baseline and other locations you can go on to uh, DunkinDonuts.com to find out where they are, giving out the free coffee this Friday. Tara or Olivia, who am I going to? You Tara. decide. Brad, yes. Yes. Okay, it has nothing to do with the fact that he's a police officer. He just coincidentally no. knows about donuts. Got it. Yes. Mike Lane, who turns 40, that he knows, and today... He's going to, actually he's going to try Happy to break birthday. a record of eating 40 donuts in one sitting for his birthday. <laughs> I might give him a run for his money if they're glazed and they're the holes. Yeah. All right, so thanks, we'll Brad. Thanks, All Brad. Right. We'll be right back. Ah, good morning, Arizona. Brad Perry out here at one of the new Dunkin' Donuts that will be opening up this Friday. Friday, everybody. I know people have been coming by and wanting to get donuts. We're just in the mere training stage right now. And this is what's so cool. Dunkin' Donuts, and of course, wants to make sure that everything is done right. And they brought in special training people, training teams. So this is the training they're going on here. And they have been working very hard. Rex right here is about to go through my training and see if he can handle a customer like me. Uh, which is going to be something they'll be dealing with. And I'm not the average customer, Rex, okay? I'm a lot different. I'm a lot talkative. I'm not crazy or anything like that. But don't worry. I'm going to run you through this. The team's all ready for this. They're all on. They're ready to go. They're on pins. But I want to make sure. Let's see. Greet the guest. Good morning, Brad. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Look, you knew my name. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. That's good. So I'm getting this. Okay, first of all, before we go any further, let me make sure you understand, Rex. I am one of your new customers coming in on Friday because I saw it on 3TV. That's 4.30 to 9 a.m., by the way. Uh, repeats on Channel 14 for those who are maybe uh, looking to see us more. All right, and so, and uh, I'm going to be one of those, like, happy. But the crazy thing is, is that I was here the night before at the Midnight Madness, you know, playing rock band and hanging out here as a big celebration was going on. All right? Okay, is that going on still Thursday night, right? Yeah. At all the locations or just this one? Just this one, Stapley and uh, Baseline. Uh, Stapley and, uh, yeah, Baseline. Am I Baseline? See, I had too much already, Rex. Are we ready? Are you ready to take my order? Yes. All right, here we go. All right, let's, let's take it from the top here. All right, I'm going to be very quick. All right, let's take it from the top. Rudy, I'm over here. Over here. There you go. All right. <laughs> Rex, what's up? Good morning. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, Can I take your order? Yes, dude. Check this out. I need me a cappuccino. All right. I need me a uh, hot coffee, that free hot coffee. And then I need a dozen donuts. All right. I need a strawberry frosted, a glaze, a jelly, a maple frosted, a vanilla cream, 
a powdered apple cinnamon spice. I need a rainbow sprinkles, valley frosted, old fashioned chocolate glaze. I need a Could sprinkles. Could he start this out by cream. saying, I, I need, need me course, I need a cup of chino? I need, uh, some, yeah, uh, as opposed to two cream. cups of chino. <laughs> and, and, and now he's ordering one of everything in the store. <laughs> that kid got That day. poor kid. He was glazed, you know. That, that. is initiation right there. Yeah, we've been All talking right. about Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, they closed down, now they're reopening. And this uh, location on Friday, right? Yeah, actually seven locations, Tara, but you know, I wanted to ask you if you could just in a break or something, ask John, Jane, and Rich. I didn't get to hear the story about the guy that's flying them on a G5 or something like that. So we are listening to them. So if you find out what it is, let's see. But we are opening seven, well, I'm not, they are. Seven stores this Friday. We are at Stapley and Baseline. They're going to be opening them all around the valley. All you need to do is log on to DunkinDonuts.com to find out where they're at. And they're giving away free coffee. But this one here it has been giving us very good props. We're having a good time because this young lady right here, Robin, who is the manager in charge here. This is your store. Are you ready for this team? More than ready, sir. Are you? Because you got a lot going on. You're going to be having a midnight madness going on here. You're going to have a big old fireworks on Friday going on. Cups, everything going crazy here free coffee, we've got the best products in town, great service, beautiful store, we're ready. I know, and they're definitely ready now because ladies and gentlemen, please come closer. Here it is, it made it. It's the cup, but it's the hot chocolate machine. Hey, yes, yes, coming out of the box. It is huge, it has made it. One of the best I could <laughs> Thanks, Brad. As you can see, Greg and Gabriel, a very emotional morning for our weather guy, our former weather guy turned man yeah. about town. They just got the hot cocoa machine in. Nice. This is what we deal with every day. You all are serious musicians, but we've got a hot cocoa machine we've been waiting for all morning long. That's a problem. It is a problem. Let me introduce Greg Wright.